As you listen and pray along, may you be empowered, blessed, and filled with the Holy Spirit. Before we pray, allow us to encourage you with the Word of God, which is living and active, sharper than any double-edged sword. Hebrews 4.12 continues to state that it pierces even to dividing soul and spirit, joints and marrow. It judges the thoughts and intentions of the heart. Matthew 7.7-10 7, 7 Ask, and it shall be given to you. Seek, and ye shall find. Knock, and it shall be opened unto you. For every one that asks receives, and he that seeks finds. And to him that knocks, it shall be opened. Which of you, if his son asks for bread, will give him a stone? Or if he asks for a fish, will give him a snake? John 14:14. 14, 14. If you ask me anything in my name, I will do it. Proverbs 16:3. Commit to the Lord whatever you do, and he will establish your plans. Philippians 4, 6 through 7. Do not be anxious about anything, but in everything, by prayer and petition, with thanksgiving, present your request to God. And the peace of God, which transcends all understanding, will guard your hearts and your minds in Christ Jesus. And so, standing on those words today, we are about to commit our day, our thoughts, our plans to the one who is the pillar of our lives and he who fills us with breath of life, the master architect that made the heavens, the earth, and all that exists as well as orchestrating time. We know that when we ask anything in his name, it shall be given unto us, so our joy will be made complete and full. Let us pray. Our Father, the Lord God of the heavens and the earth, he who calls the stars by name, knows the count of the sand on the seashore and the count of the hair that exists on our heads. Your name be exalted, your name be glorified, and to you be all the glory, honor, and adoration. As we come before your presence this morning, past the gates of praise and into your sanctuary, we first of all want to ask that you cleanse us from all unrighteous, for we know that you deter sin and sin is a hindrance to your presence. Blot our stains, wash us again with the blood of your Son, Jesus. We confess that we have sinned, and by your word we confess that we have sinned against you. You will forgive us and cleanse us from all unrighteousness. That though our sins may be as scarlet, they shall be as white as snow, and though they may be as red as crimson, they shall be as white as wool. We want to thank you for this new day to which you have graced us to see, the rising of the sun which reminds us daily of your glory and how you continuously show up for us. We thank you for keeping us safe from the troubles of yesterday and the perils of the night. Because of your omnipresence, we shall not fear the arrows that fly today, the plagues that destroy at noon, nor the terror of the night. We ask, O Lord, that like you did for your children when they fled the land of Egypt, you go before us this day as a pillar of cloud to guide us through the day and a pillar of fire to give us light through the night. May we forever be conscious of your presence, and may we see clearly as you lead us and direct us through the day. We know by your word in Ephesians 6:12 that our struggle and our battles this day are not against flesh and blood, but instead against the rulers, against authorities, and against the powers of that exist and are of this dark world, against the spiritual forces of evil in the heavenly realms. And so armed with this knowledge, we decree and declare that your light prevail this day. We ask that your light shine in our darkness and any form of darkness that surround us, we ask that you honor your word, which says that you, O Lord, the commander of the hosts of angels, heaven's armies, will fight for us, and we shall hold our peace. We ask that your angels encamp all around us, for who have trust in you. We ask that you deliver us from the snares of the fowler, 
and whatever traps that may exist this day, cause us to rest in your shadow. Science tells us that for a shadow to be cast, an object must be directly in the path of the source of light. And so we know that as we abide in your secret place, as we dwell in your shelter, the shelter of the Most High God, we rest in your shadow. You are our rock and our defense. You are our refuge and our fortress. As we step out this day, we step out with you. As we drive our cars today, you, Lord, take the wheels. As we walk to our places of work, or schooling, or whatever destinations that may be, you walk with us, holding our hands. As we ride on the buses and cabs, we ask that you take control. We know that many are the afflictions of the righteous, and we know that though the afflictions of the righteous may be many, you, O Lord, delivers them out of them all. You keep all their bones and ensure that not one of them is broken. None of your own is lost, and we are your own. We are the people of your pasture, and we know that you exalt your word above your name, and so by your word none of us will be lost to this day and the troubles and dangers it brings. We ask for favor this day, Lord, like you were with Joseph, be with us. Like you extended your kindness to him, extend your kindness to us this day. Like you gave him favor in the sight of the chief jailer and Pharaoh, grant us your favor before our employers and anyone we come into contact with. Let us find favor in your good repute, in your sight and in the sight of men. You said in Proverbs 8.35, that for he who finds me finds life and obtains favor from the Lord. Let us obtain your favor this day. May your face shine upon us. May you be gracious unto us. Be our strength this morning and throughout this day. Be our salvation when distress comes beckoning. As we step out this day, once again, O Lord, cause us to let our light, the light of God, shine brightly to all. May anyone we encounter have an encounter with you, O glorious God. When we speak, may they hear your voice. When we stretch out our hands for a handshake or a pat on the back, may they feel your touch. When we embrace our friends, our families, our colleagues, may they feel the embrace of you, Lord. For you have called us from the darkness into your marvelous light to be the light onto our world. And we know it is your will that all men be saved. And so, as we step out, we present ourselves as vessels for your use. We want to be vessels of honor fit for the Master's use. Even as we pray now, we ask that you prepare us and sanctify us. We ask that you purify us to do your will. For not all who say, Lord, Lord, shall enter the kingdom of heaven, but they know and do your will, and so we place your will above our personal desires. We ask that by the fruits we bear today, fruits of love, peace, forbearance, kindness, goodness, faithfulness, gentleness, and self-control, all men and women will know that we are your own and have a desire to be called your own. You said the power of life and death rests on the tongue. Though a very small part of our bodies with it, we can build up ourselves and others, or tear them down. And by the words we speak, we can create breath, life, or destroy. And we know this is true, because of your word you called forth the things that are not as though they were, and they did come into existence. And you have made us in your image, and given unto us dominion. You have called us God, so have given unto us power that contains a measure of yours. And so armed with this knowledge, we speak life to this day. We speak health, success, good news, favor, love, strength, and peace. We tear down every evil stronghold and demolish arguments and pretensions that set themselves up against the knowledge of God. 
we declare good news and favor our portion. Thank you for hearing our prayer, O Lord. We know that even before we ask, you answer us. And while we are still speaking, you hear us. Surely your arm is not too short to save, nor your ears too dull to hear. And we know that by your word, this day will be filled with your spirit. The end of everything is the glory of God. And so, when all is said and done, we will return to you all the glory and all the honor. Thank you for answered prayers. Your name be praised forevermore. Amen.